Many people have begun discussing this topic due to several films that have brought up the question of whether we are in a simulation. Nick Bostrom popularized the concept of the simulation hypothesis that is currently being discussed. Bostrom is somewhat unique because he frequently discusses topics such as AI, superintelligence, and the intersection of science and philosophy. This concept isn't new and predated his films like The Matrix and World on a Wire. In earlier times, people contemplated similar questions but framed them differently. Are we living in an illusion? Do the phenomena we perceive truly occur or are they merely figments of our imagination? Such inquiries reflect the essence of philosophical skepticism, a line of thought that has persisted through the ages. A parallel notion can be found in the ancient Chinese parable of the butterfly dream from Zhuangzi's teachings. As stories exploring the possibility of living in a simulation abound, many individuals speculate that our reality could indeed be simulated. Consider this. If contemporary technology already enables the creation of complex simulations like The Sims, one can only imagine the immense computational power humanity might possess in a thousand years. If we are not in a simulation, two potential scenarios could unfold. The first one, at some point in the timeline, individuals may express concern or apprehension about the ethical implications of creating advanced simulations akin to our reality. This moral dilemma could arise due to considerations regarding the consciousness or welfare of simulated entities, as well as the potential consequences of manipulating simulated environments. Second, future generations may abstain from developing simulations altogether due to ethical considerations. They may perceive the act of creating simulated realities as inherently unethical or morally objectionable, leading them to refrain from engaging in such endeavors despite advancements in technology. This decision could stem from a collective sense of responsibility towards the integrity and sanctity of existence, as well as a desire to avoid potential harm or exploitation of simulated entities. Neil deGrasse. Tyson's perspective echoes the concept of a simulated reality, giving rise to recursive simulations, leading to an infinite loop of simulated worlds. This notion indeed presents a fascinating paradox, challenging our understanding of existence and the nature of reality. Brian Greene's cautionary note about the potential destabilization of a simulation when attempting to discern its nature raises profound questions about the observer's relationship to the observed reality. This exploration delves into realms of philosophy, physics, and metaphysics, prompting us to grapple with fundamental questions about existence and the limitations of human knowledge. The fusion of religion and technology in speculative fiction often yields thought-provoking narratives, exploring humanity's essence and reality's nature. In Isaac Asimov's The Last Question, a computer striving for infinite understanding mirrors theological themes, blurring technology and spirituality. Similarly, works like The Matrix and Asimov's stories depict themes of transcendence, enlightenment, and salvation akin to religious narratives. These narratives recontextualize religious concepts within technological advancements, delving into topics such as technological singularity and superintelligence. Despite drawing from religious motifs, creators adeptly transcend religious labels, presenting narratives as reflections on humanity's relationship with technology and the pursuit of meaning in a complex world. This approach challenges conventional boundaries, sparking contemplation about faith, science, and imagination's intersections. So what is your idea? Please mention and share your ideas with us. Subscribe to us to learn such amazing things that you didn't know. Also, if you click the bell, you will be notified when a new video is posted.